Hi everyone, it's been a while since I last made a video. Uh, welcome back to the uh, Information Zulu channel. Uh, I just recently built a new PC and I kind of got VR working. So I thought today with uh, there's a new Microsoft Flight Sim World Update 10 that included uh, an update to uh, a bunch of uh, points of interest in the uh, around America and this is one of them the, uh, the Lincoln Memorial so I've updated the I think a whole bunch of stuff around the, the National Mall we got the reflecting pool here and uh, I thought we'd check out some of the scenery from the ground level in VR which is kind of not really what flight sim is made for but let's check out the detail that you've gone to so here we got the steps uh, outside the uh, Lincoln Memorial. So let's turn around and see. It's awesome. Got some columns. And there we have it. There is Lincoln himself. Let's see. We can try and walk around this place. So I have got my Oculus Quest set up for completely I've turned off the Guardian, so there's nothing to stop me walking anywhere in my <laughs> in my house. Let's see if I can walk in between these columns and navigate, <laughs> navigate and not fall over the furniture in my house. Okay, so here we go. Whoa. It looks like they have more the inside the room pretty nicely. The columns are awesome. Um, looks like the, uh, the statue itself is a 2D image. That looks pretty cool. I don't think you'd ever really... I don't think we're going to get to uh, walk around the back because my house isn't big enough. <laughs> Let's see. Pretty cool. Um, I'm really tempted to do um, other touristy things now in the later. This is just kind of amazing. Look at that view. Washington Monument down there, which I think is part of World Update 2. So you got to make sure you've uninstalled every update pack. I think at least 2 and 10 to get in this whole um, mall area. And uh, I might jump over to the White House because that was an update too. Let's see if I can walk around this column. <laughs> I think my bed might be in the way. Let's see if this works. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's see what do we see over here? Cool. This is so cool. I mean, not as I've actually been to the real one, so, but <laughs> given that you could go anywhere in the world with this detail, if they've, if they've created all their content, that would be amazing. Awesome. I've actually walked into my bathroom. Okay, <laughs> going back. Outside here, I have to be so careful about not crashing into furniture. Um, obviously, I can't go down the stairs, but I can kind of float above them. Okay, so, so there we are. This is the Lincoln Memorial as seen in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. The cloud detail is on Ultra. I think the uh, I think we've I've got the trees and the building set to Ultra. Not bad. Given that you're supposed to really only see it from while you're flying over it. 
clouds could be better from down here. It is live weather. All right, let's uh, let's try and jump over to the over to the Washington Monument and then maybe check out the White House. All right, welcome back. We are now at the Washington Monument. And there's the uh, Lincoln Memorial all the way down there. We just were at, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think that was. Um, so here we are at the Washington Monument, at the base of it. Let's look up. And it's pretty amazing. I mean, everything seems relatively good scale too. I mean, these benches seem massive to sit on. Um, but we can walk out here and see. Ooh, it's gonna, the room tracking is gonna glitch out, but don't worry, it should flip back. So here we are, Washington Monument. If I, I just wanna walk backwards in my house and fall over or something. Here we are. It's pretty awesome. Flags. Not wave. I've seen some flags that do wave in another part of the scenery, but not here. Maybe they could do update this. There's the newer stuff actually animates. That there is the museum. That's the National African American Museum of Culture. And then there's some government buildings behind it. I think there's a Bureau of Industry. If I remember correctly, I just looked it up before this video. Awesome. Let's see how far I can walk around it. Oops. I'm tracking flipped. One second, is it gonna come back? Yeah, okay. All right, well, as you know, um, it's Congress like way down there. Let's see if we can get to that next. Um, over here, the White House on, I don't know if we can see it. We're gonna jump over there next. And see what we can see from, uh, what is it, 1600 Pennsylvania. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, welcome back. Uh, we've jumped over to the White House on. There's, I think there's the fountain. Doesn't seem to be working. This is the lawn of the White House, and I think Pennsylvania Ave is right over there between the trees and the, the clearing of the trees. Here, I think this is the, it looks like the helicopter landing pad um, spot. I think those those go under the uh, the three uh, landing gear when the uh, Marine One, um, I think it looks like it. Um, so here it is. It's the, uh, the side of the White House that faces 1600 Pennsylvania. Um, pretty cool. Let's see how far we can walk up to it. I wonder if it's to scale. One of the things I'm not sure about is the, uh, the scale of everything in Flight Sim. Not all the scenery is modeled exactly the same scale, I feel like. Some of the curbs and roads are, have got massive. oversized curbs and things. Those doors look like they could fit. Oh, sorry. Track 
king is flipped in second. Let's see if I can fix that. Not bad. Something that is totally not made to be a VR walk around of points of interest. This has got an amazing amount of detail. I think we could walk all the way up over there. And there's columns. Is that just textured? I can't tell from here. Look at that, there's some parallax if I move. Cool, I mean almost like being there you can probably get much closer to this you can you can in real life awesome and then there's the uh, Washington Monument off in the distance Cool. Well, if you're interested in uh, trying this out, get yourself an Oculus Quest 2. Um, just I'm running this with AirLink and its own Wi-Fi just to get maximum frame rate and throughput. I mean, none of this is cheap. It takes a pretty beefy machine. I think I'm running in an RTX 3090 and it's giving me pretty good frame rates with almost all the settings maxed up, maxed out. All right, final stop, I think, maybe steps of the, uh, steps of Congress. All right, we'll be back in just a second. All right, we are back. Uh, actually, I made a mistake earlier that was looking towards Constitution not Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is on the other side of the White House, my mistake. Uh, we are at the uh, House of Congress. You can see the Washington Monument over there in the distance. So here we go. A big reveal. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go for a walk. I don't think I'm, I can't go up those stairs, but Scale is bad. It's very cool. Let's see what happens if we go over here. I've got stuff I've got on the floor I'm gonna trip over, but this is so cool. I mean, you might still want to visit the real thing. <laughs> but this isn't bad. I mean, in VR, I mean, 3Ds, the 3D effect in VR is really good. They put a lot of detail into it. Way more than you need for flying over it in the flight sim. I mean, you've got the, the little balustrades. I don't know if those are texture mapped or uh, modeled, but it's very detailed. It's probably a really good photo model. All right, let's see where this goes. Bad. Cool. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I think I want to try the latest update. It has a ton of new points of interest, and I'm gonna probably make another video. 
uh, for some of those. Um, if you like, remember to uh, subscribe and uh, to catch the next update. Uh, maybe we'll do a national park or something cool in Grand Canyon. Um, Alright, we'll see you next time.